my hair and I finally did it I promised that I would do it before 2018 so I went ahead and did it and I am loving it oh it's so cute it's been about five days since I flat ironed it um but yeah I'm just gonna show you how I flat iron my hair Ooh, sorry guys I just have to okay I'm gonna show you guys how I flat iron my hair if you want to see how I flat iron my hair last time you can click the link right here are right here I never remember what side it's on um, and yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this remember to give it a thumbs up and follow me on the gram link will be down in the description box below and let's just get right into it okay so on freshly washed hair I'm gonna use this Afogee pro vitamin leave-in conditioner and I'm using this because it is a liquid based leave-in conditioner um, because I don't want to put any heavy products in my hair um, when I'm about to flat iron it because I want my hair to be nice and flowy um, and not weighed down by a bunch of products. And then next I'm going in with this Chi Silk Infusion and I'm going to use about a dime size amount on each section. Um, and I'm just going to work that through the entire section. And then the last thing I'm going to do is go in with this Chi Iron Guard or 44 Iron Guard. It's basically like a heat protected spray um, and I'm going to spritz that all over the section. I freaking hate spray bottles like that because it's so difficult to spray one handed. But again, I'm just going to work that over the entire section and then I'm going to um, use my paddle brush to make sure everything is detangled and then I will start blow drying that section of hair. So next I'm just going to use the tension method to blow dry, ooh, to blow dry um, each section about 70-ish percent dry. Basically I want to get the root area dry as best as possible um, before I go in again with my paddle brush. So I'm just using the tension method. You want to make sure that you pull your hair straight because um, you want it to be as straight as possible before you go in and flat iron it um, so this using the tension method really helps and then I'm just gonna go in with my paddle brush and uh, use my paddle brush to make sure that the section is dry and as straight as it can be So when I start flat ironing my hair, I'm just taking, um, parting out very small, like less than one inch sections um, to flat iron. And then I'll just take my, uh, my rat tail comb and I'm just going to comb through the entire section, making sure that there are no kinks or anything and getting rid of all the tangles that could have formed. And then I'm going to do the chase method, but instead of using a rat tail comb for the chase method, I'm going to use this hard bristle brush. I just feel like it does a better job. And if you notice that I go over the roots a couple of times because I want to make sure that they are straight, but I'm going to only go over the entire length of my hair twice. So again, I'm just using the brush and to, you, to do the chase method, going over my roots a couple of times and then just going down the length of my hair a total of two times. And then that's it and it's nice and flowy and luscious and I'm just going to do this on my entire head. Quit this long ago. Can't 
video there's going to be detailed instructions and links to the product that I use down in the description box below so if you have any questions make sure you read that I always leave like detailed instructions in the description box of any of my hair videos or my hair tutorials like this um, if you like it remember to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also make sure you are following me on Instagram and uh, yeah I really hope you enjoy this I've been loving I've been loving having my hair straight. I again I haven't had it straight in like a year, pretty much almost exactly a year. I think I actually did it in January of this year, but it's basically been almost a year since I flat ironed my hair and it's just so much longer. It's also blonde. It's just very different than the first time I flat ironed it. Um, and it also went a lot faster this time because I felt like I sort of like had it down, um, like the process down versus the first time I did it. Um, but yeah, the chi uh, straightening stuff is like, I would say if you're going to get anything, um, get the chi, the chi like straightening product things that I use. I feel like that has made a huge difference. I used it the first time I flat ironed and I use it this time and I pretty much use those products anytime I want to put heat on my hair because they are made for heat and they are made for if you're putting heat on your hair. Um, they're kind of freaking expensive which I don't like but they do work so I would highly highly suggest them. I just picked mine up from Walgreens if I can find like it cheaper I'll link it down below or I'll just link it on Amazon so you can like see what products I'm talking about and you can go to the store and find them or just order them on Amazon or whatever you want to do um, but if you're gonna get any of the products I suggest get those because those are gonna make all the difference um, when you fly on your hair um, they are kind of expensive they're expensive they're crisp expensive they're not like general hair product expensive y'all know I like everything cheap but uh, anyways I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up follow me on the gram and I'll see you in the next one bye